Good evening. I am Harriet Group, <clears throat> excuse me, and I am the CEO of Marinko Technology Group. We are a marine environment group. There is an alert. The ports of the world are under invasion, not by troops, but by marine species that are being transported from one port to another in the ballast water of ships. And when the ships go from Singapore to LA and they dispose of their ballast water in the port, those little marine invasive species come in and they take over. A great example of this is the Great Lakes problem. I think you've all heard of the, um, the zebra mussels there. The solution to this is Marenko's um, ballast water treatment system. <coughs> Excuse me. And it is a portable, more portable unit. It does not have to go into the engine spaces, which makes it very good for the shipping companies because they don't lose time when their ships are in dry dock being retrofitted for ballast water treatment systems. We have done testing and we have exceeded the standards of the US Coast Guard and the IMO at the time that we had the last testings, that was 2009. We stopped testing them because there were no standards that had been mandated at that time. So the US Coast Guard now, as of July, has has mandated and set their standards. The International Maritime Organization is, oh, thank you. <laughs> the International Maritime Organization Treaty, we hope, will be ratified within the next year, and then it'll take another year for that to come into effect. The costing of our units, $20,000 when they're done, just built separately, the sale price would be two hundred and fifty to three hundred thousand dollars per unit. Our competition starts at four hundred thousand dollars, and then they have to install them in the ships. So that cost, the cost goes up. Our system is applicable to at least forty percent of the world's shipping right at this moment, and that's the fifteen hundred metric ton ships and less. We have four patents granted. <clears throat> we started in 2002. Our last testing, as I said, was 2009. And we have invested, the principals have invested $800,000 at this point. If you look at this slide, the top three companies, well, they're not companies, they're, they're processes, are those that go into the engine spaces. And if you look at the dollar amounts, you'll see that Marenko is quite a bit less expensive for the shipper. As I said, I'm Harriet Roop. I'm the CEO and a businesswoman. Hap Wynn is our president. He's an electrical engineer and a prolific inventor. Murray Fowler is our vice president. He's an engineer and retired Navy from, the, he's a captain, retired. Jeff Green is another engineer and John Drew is a CPA and he is also an MBA. Our marketing would be to ship owners and service providers. We um, want to cooperate with some shipping company that might be in the LA area so that we could have one of our units on the ship to showcase it and thereby we would be utilizing the Los Angeles ports. Our funding needed, we're asking for a million five hundred thousand dollars to build new units to market most important, the certification testing for the U.S. Coast Guard and the International Maritime Organization. Those two have to be done by those testing laboratories that they, that they ask. We can't just use the ones we have. And for <coughs> operations and marketing. In summary, Marenko has great advantages. No no uh, retrofitting of the ship to go into the engine spaces. It's easy installation, the ship isn't out of service while they're doing it, and so it's very cost effective for those shippers. In short, the need for ballast water treatment was yesterday. With the IMO and the US Coast Guard mandates, the shipping companies are going to have to confront <coughs> this problem. 
the world's ports can no longer pollute. I mean, the world's ballast, world's ships can no longer pollute from port to port. 